on the same that part of when we come over here we have to it, it basically you have to choose not to shoot no you don't have to choose i mean you are already in a group of people that they that's, that's what right. they describe you like you are in a group and that's what gonna that that is how they're gonna basically Look measure you. you everything yeah. that you do is gonna be measured because you are this person and that's something that we don't know until we get here because believe me i wouldn't i didn't understand none of the, <laughs> what i know now when i was right. in the dominican republic I was far, far from understanding what's going on here and how life is. You know, we have now, no idea. Over there, do, Dominicans have no idea how is life here in the United States. Have you seen any uh, any outlandish or any um, any racism uh, that, you know, like, this just somebody called you some type of name or something? Or, no, I have no, never had that, that, no, that experience. No, I can't. That's I would like to say that I have that experience. No, but I see it. I see, you know, with all the people I, I watch it on TV. I see it in person, but not towards me. But I see it with all the people. I mean, that's people. very, that's mm -hmm. very good. That's very good. Yeah. So I, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I love everybody. I don't, I don't care what color you are. Either you're a good person or a bad person. Yeah, and uh, I, I really don't get into, you know, I support the Black Lives Matter. I, I support that. But at the same time, um, I, I I let my kids uh, hang out with white people, black. It doesn't matter. I, I look at the character of the person, you know. Uh, and like I said before, people don't understand. Yeah, we have, we have an issue in the United States. But thank God there's more good white people in the world, in the United States, than there is bad white people. Thank God there's more good Hispanic people in the world than there are bad people. Thank God there are more good black people in the world than there are bad black people. So we just, the good people and the people that love one another, we need to just stick together and keep doing the right thing. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's racism, it's crime. It, black on black crime is very bad here also. Very, mm -hmm. very bad. And, uh, you know, people say, well, you need to, blacks need to focus on their black on black crime. Yeah, we need to focus on our black on black crime. But at the same time, we also need to focus on police officers killing us for no reason. So um, it, we can all work on the same thing at the same time. And like I said, I cannot emphasize it enough. There's so many good people in the United States, and thank God there's there's more good people in the United States than bad people. Yeah, exactly. That's what I say. That's that, that's <laughs> exactly how I go. I mean, you need to judge people to how they behave and how they are, in no base of a skin color or what they they are from. That is just that's just wrong. I mean, now you're gonna yeah. judge somebody just based on what they come from, or based on their color of their skin, and if Amen. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't see that in the Dominican Republic. I just see, you know, people just talking to people and and giving people hugs and and um, and and you can in the United States you'll see like a white person like if you get kind of close to them and you're black they'll kind of walk away from you or they'll they'll grab their purse and they'll and they, if a black they'll put their purse really tight when a black person walks by and. I, I see it sometimes, you know, um, I might walk by a lady or something or a, a guy or something, he'll, or he'll cross the street and, and I'm just walking down the street also, you know, and, but I don't see that in the Dominican Republic. If you can be very light skinned in the Dominican Republic and a dark person, they, they walk right by each other with no problem. Eat that, you know? that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't that's that doesn't exist over there like I mean, yeah, because you lighter, because you black because you darker, because you we're gonna have issues or no, that doesn't happen over there. We have all the type of problems because everywhere, right. I mean every country have their problems, but those type of issues we don't have. But but the majority I mean ninety nine percent of the Dominican Republic and you don't I, I I'm it's much better than the United States as far as racism, you know, so uh that's why I really love the Dominican and um, and just the people are so much nicer. Okay, and have you experienced anything in this part time? I know they probably been, I've been, been four, been I've, been four, I've been four times, but next month it'll be five times. About, four times okay, in this four time, have you experienced anything bad like with the police or 
with any type of you feel like any discrimination or anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, and and this happens in the United States, but um, I had my, my girlfriend at the time, we're not together anymore, but uh, my girlfriend at the time, we went out and we were dancing and well, she was dancing because I can't really dance that much. I'm not a good dancer at all, but she was dancing and having fun. And we were outside just having a good time with all our friends. And uh, one of the police officers walked up and started talking to my girlfriend. And and I was trying to tell him like, hey, you know, she's she's already taken and that's disrespectful. And um, and my other friends kind of walked up and they took up for me or whatever. But he didn't he didn't acknowledge me or he didn't he didn't say, hey, uh, Hey, is this your girlfriend? Or, you know, he didn't shake my hand. He just went straight to my girlfriend. And I thought that was disrespectful. But that happens everywhere. That happens in the United States. That happens everywhere. Some guys just think they're tough and um and they just try they they're disrespectful. But that 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 happens everywhere. But you just not have to know how to how to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I uh I had to go to the hospital. Um the emergency room, it was totally different from the United States uh, hospital. And um, I mean, they had, everybody was crowded. You know, we everybody had their mask on and uh, a guy got shot and uh, he he was sitting right, I was in one, on one bed, he was on the next bed and every bed, they had a bed right next to each other. You know, in United States, you have your own room. You have your own room, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, all the beds were all together. And uh, I was like, oh my God. And I was in so much, I was in so much pain, but they treated me so nice, but I had never seen that. And uh, they gave me an IV and they gave me some pain medicine and some uh, medicine for my spasms because I have neck spasms and I have a lot of issues with my back and neck sometimes. But they gave me some medicine and, uh, Every everything was okay, but I, it was so loud, and I'm, and I guess all hospitals are not like that in the Dominican Republic. But I guess it was a charity hospital, or we went to the closest hospital, and um, the people were nice, but I, I, it was a big shock to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was you went to a public hospital. That was a public. It, it was yeah, it was in Santo Domingo, mm -hmm. and. I don't remember the name of it, but it was a public hospital. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah probably that's the, I, best that you, the best that you're going to get in a public hospital in Dominican Republic. <laughs> a private, I, a little bit better. I promise yeah. you that. The private ones are better. It was the emergency room, so I didn't have time to go to, you know, a, a, a private hospital, you know? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. before you decide to move uh, abroad to Dominican Republic, that was in your plan? Did you, are you, were you planning on looking to move uh, to move to another country? No, I I was just planning on um, I was planning on living like um, in, in in Louisiana, probably in the country by and buying buying some horses and and just relaxing. So my, my mentality was I need to find a place where it's not a lot of hustle and bustle like New York City or the big city. I want a place where I can finish raising my kids mm -hmm. in a safe place. And at the same time, I don't have any stress on my body. So um, that was the only place I was thinking about moving to. Once I visited the Dominican Republic, I said, I I'm going to be living here for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah, do, you have, do you have that? Do you have that to the same the first time that you that you went to the Dominican Republic? Yeah, I, nothing, nothing has changed. As a matter of fact, I, I want to every time I come to the United States, I, I want to go back even more. So I can't wait until November. I'm so excited, you know. So <laughs> I, uh, I I just I'm I'm ready to go. I wish I wish tomorrow was November the third, but I'm gonna vote. So. Uh, I, I the plane our plane leave on November the third, but I made sure that we leave around one or two o'clock so I can make sure I vote in the United States. We have the big presidential election, and that's a whole that's another story. But uh, you know uh, I, I'm going to vote, and then once I cast my vote, I'll have my bag packed, and me and the family 
are moving to the Dominican Republic. So I'm excited about it. <laughs> ah, very good. Yeah, you need to make sure that you vote. That's something that we that we have we all have to make sure that we do that. And yeah. And oh my my uh my channel, I just started my channel is not as good as yours because you you do a great job. But I just Thank started you. about a month about a month and a half ago I started a YouTube channel and it's 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 not professionally done but i'm gonna get somebody to help me do it but uh my channel is uh, called moving the family to the dominican republic and uh i hope hope everybody subscribes to my channel when they when they listen to your video so but uh it's called moving moving the family to the dominican republic and um uh, and yeah yeah uh and i know you already subscribed so thank you so much i appreciate it. sorry and what is your channel i was about to ask what was your channel about i mean what are you going to share in your channel oh it's going to be a fun channel because my whole life i always gave back to children um and i'm going to be showing kids when i'm feeling good i'm going to be showing kids how to speak english and play baseball at the same time so maybe twice a week i'll have an english class and showing little kids five, six, seven years old how to play baseball and speak English at the same time. So uh, that's a new program I'll be starting, a nonprofit program I'll be starting in the Dominican Republic uh, to help kids learn how to speak English in the Dominican Republic. Oh, that's that's great. I think I always think that that is something very important for the Dominican Republic, for people in general to learn how to speak English. First, because it's the language in the world, and the second is because Tourism in the Dominican Republic is very part, it's a very important part of our economy. It is. And, also, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of people that want to come to the United States, you you know, you can put that on your application that you're bilingual, you know how to speak English and Spanish, and that'll help you out. Uh, you know, we we have a lot of police officers here that you even get paid more money when you learn how to speak both languages. So uh, uh, it's always good to know how to speak uh, English and Spanish. So that I'm definitely going to learn how to speak Spanish. <laughs> okay. If you don't mind me to ask you, how old are your kids? My kids are uh, my, my oldest son. My oldest, I'm sorry, I'm going to start with my daughter. My daughter is 15 years old. She's the oldest. Uh, my, my second is 14. And my third is 13 years old. So... I just adopted uh, uh, a son. Uh, he's from he's uh, he's Mexican and he's originally from Texas. But I guess I just adopted him, uh, A. B. Uh, a. B. Darjon. So I have Jasmine Darjon, A. B. Darjon, and then Devante Darjon. So I have two boys and one girl, and I'm so happy. I uh, I I just adopted my son and. Uh, He's just an amazing kid, and he'll be coming to the Dominican Republic as well. Oh, that's that's great. Yes. And are you are you when they get, they go to Dominican Republic? Are they are they are you planning to put them in a school, or are they gonna be homeschooling, or or have you thought about that? Well, I have thought about it, but the thing is, in the United States, they're in school now, and everything is online here. So uh, not at at the school here, and you get. You can choose in the United States if you want to do online or you can uh, you can go to school. But every, they do everything online and I help them out with their homework. And um, and the teachers call me when we have any issues. And so I'm thinking of just keeping them in school at their school and um, and, and just doing everything in the Dominican Republic. All you all you have to have is Internet and Wi-Fi. And it's uh, that's that's all you need. So maybe eventually i'll probably uh after this year i'll probably enroll them in a school in uh, santo domingo there's no i'll be in san cristobal and there's no uh english schools in san cristobal so we may be moving to santo domingo or i don't know puerto plata or uh, uh santiago or somewhere that has the english school but for right now uh they'll just be doing everything online um uh, just, just like they're in the United States. <laughs> okay. I didn't, yeah. Do they know any Spanish? They don't know any Spanish. No, not, not that. I don't, not, I, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not okay. And I, I, they also... I, I only know Paquito. And when I played with the New York Yankees, we learned every curse word in Spanish. So I know every single curse word in Spanish, but I don't, I only know just, just a little bit of Spanish. So, 
of, of course, I, I don't say those curse words, but when I'm in the Dominican Republic, I know every single curse word. <laughs> yeah, don't feel bad. I think that's what everybody first learned from any language. You just first learn how to say the bad things first, and then, and then you keep going. Yes, right. And don't feel that bad. Yeah. So for people that are trying to move to one different country, what is those something that you can tell that is something you're looking for a place that you say, like what it made you to say that this is the place where I want to live uh, the rest of my life? You know, the people uh, move or people have different uh, reasons, sometimes because social injustice, some of the time it's because uh, discrimination, some of the time because it's stress, working all 24-7. Right. So they, people have different uh, reasons why they want to move. So, but what is it for you that you say, this is the place that I think I can live the rest of my life? I, I, I think um, just, it feels so peaceful when I'm there. Um, and and safety you know i know they they have guns in the in in the dominican republic but the uh there, there's no there's not that many guns in the in, in the dominican republic so uh safety and then just a sense of peace that i get for for me and my my children and uh i just believe it was time for change and of course me be, being disabled uh it makes it different so other people might have different ideas or why they might want to see if they want to move to the Dominican Republic or be an expat in, in a different country or something. But the main reason I moved is because of my body. I, I have so much pain in my body. You know, I have to get massages and therapy all the time. And every time it gets cold, the, uh, the, the cold weather really bothers my body a little bit. So, uh, and I felt so loved in the, in the Dominican Republic. So, that's that's the main reason. But uh, what I have learned, and it, it, it doesn't matter where you go. I've been to Canada. I've been to Mexico. Wherever you go, you have to respect the people that live there. Dominicans have certain customs. You have to res respect their customs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't just go to the, to the Dominican Republic and just do whatever you want to. Uh, Americans can be spoiled sometimes. We think we can just do whatever we want to uh and you have to humble yourself and you have different customs in the dominican republic and if you want to move to the dominican republic you have to respect their culture and their custom uh custom there and if if you're looking for trouble in the dominican republic you can find trouble in the dominican republic so i i think uh you just have to really uh stay you know uh, stay focused and uh, respect people in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree uh, with that. And when you are in the Dominican Republic, are you planning? Um, I know. I know that you mentioned that you are disabled. You want to be uh, receiving um, disability. Yeah. There. yeah, disability yeah. there. But do you have any plans to do? Like, do you have any plans to have a be to open a business in Dominican Republic, or what are your plans when you are? in the Dominican Republic? Not, not, not right now. I, I don't, you know, if my body gets better, I might, but the, the main plan is to uh, help my, my, both of my kids follow their dream. You know, one wants to play baseball, one, one wants, AB wants to be in computers uh, and computer technology, and he wants to play basketball. But um, I, I just think the main thing is, I, I just want to make it easier for my children and easier for myself uh, uh, when I'm in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Have you, have you, uh, is anything in the Dominican Republic? What do you think is some of the things that you probably will not be able to get used to? <laughs> <laughs> or what are some um, of the things that you don't like uh, oh, in the Dominican that's a good Republic? Question. Yeah, because, you know, every, every country has their, their issues, but the driving is crazy. It is crazy. Um, I, I, the first time I was there, I watched a car go down the, uh, and it's not everywhere in the Dominican Republic. It's just certain areas, but I watched the car drive. Well, I think it's everywhere in the Dominican Republic. Probably the traffic is nobody somewhere. But it is you, traffic, but they all drive crazy everywhere you go. Right. Yeah. But I, so you're from the Dominican Republic, so you know, you know, yeah. But 
I haven't been to all the areas, but if you say it's everywhere, it's everywhere. But I, I watched the first time I watched two cars drive down the sidewalk where people walk and they were and they were driving the wrong way on the road, you know? And uh, <laughs> I mean not out of that. That's that's crazy. And and uh, <laughs> have you ever seen that before? Yeah. That one I haven't seen. <laughs> and the people the people had to get on the side of on the side in the grass because they were they were driving down the sidewalk. I was like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, in the United States, if you're running from the police, you know, you they're driving on the sidewalk and driving crazy, but I've never just seen cars. Just, just normal, yeah. <laughs> People over there have a sense of yeah, like it's no like it's no law over there. Like everybody do whatever they are. You got car, you got car, but it's not like <laughs> like yeah. nothing gonna happen to you. So, yeah, yeah. I, I watched um I watched some something happen. The police officer saw somebody, he was he was going the wrong way, and they go the wrong way a lot also in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> he, was, he was going <laughs> look, you're laughing because you know it's the truth. But they, he was going the wrong way, and the police officer, I thought he was going to give him a ticket, but the police officer said, hey, 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 get, get back. I don't, I, you know, I don't understand Spanish, but he was saying, like, get back on the right side of the road. And, and he was like, okay, I'm sorry. And he got on the, I, but in the United States, you go to jail for driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> yes. Yes, but over there they just probably gonna tell you something. And they may probably gonna give you a ticket, but they yeah they won't take you to jail. Right, but but besides that, I don't think uh, I can't think of anything else that uh, that's that that really concerns me in the Dominican Republic. Uh, every, everybody's nice, you know. One thing, the country is so beautiful, and you probably will agree with me, but you see trash on the ground and um and you don't see that a lot in the united states you know mm -hmm. now of course like puerto plata and and those tourist areas you don't see a lot of trash but certain cities you just see trash by the ocean and by the beach and things and it kind of makes me it it makes me a little sad because the dominicans don't understand how beautiful that island is and I, you know, but, uh, and they don't have people picking up trash every day, every day. So it's just trash, but it's not everywhere, but sometimes you see trash and I just, I get frustrated about that. But, you know, uh, but, but besides that, I, I love the Dominican Republic. Yes. And especially Santo Domingo. In, since in some areas in Santo Domingo, you see that a lot. Now, when you go more uh, like small towns, they don't have that problem with garbage, but Santo Domingo, yeah. Like Santiago, Santiago is the second biggest city. But Santiago don't have that problem with the garbage everywhere. But Santo Domingo does, yes. Wow, it is, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like you say, it's the people. These people have any, any, any conscience over there about the... I see the people. Sometimes when I see people over there walking around, they eating something, they throw the garbage on, on the floor. Yeah, uh -oh. but they can just walk on the, with the garbage yeah. for somewhere and they stick yeah. put it on That's the crazy. floor. That's just... That is just yeah. the thing. But right. that is a sense, that is like part of education. That's right. That's right. That's part of education. And I had I hadn't been to Santiago yet, so I hear that 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 air is a very nice city. And now they I know that you mentioned that you um that you was dating somebody you don't dating anymore. Is that oh I don't know if you should be asking if that it was a Dominican person? <laughs> yes, yeah, she was a Dominican person. We're still we're still good friends and everything, but um, I just decided that you know to you know to not have our relationship and uh, just be good friends. And I'm very close to her mom and her dad, and um, uh, you know, and, and her sisters and everything like that. So, uh, but but yeah, I tell you what, I'm I'm not moving to the Dominican Republic for a girlfriend. That's that's the last thing on my mind, but I know it's so many beautiful, beautiful women in the Dominican Republic. I won't have a problem finding uh, a, a girl or a girlfriend in the Dominican Republic because, and I'm talking to a couple people right now and, and we're not serious yet, but um, you know, you, you never know. So I'm, I'm not rushing it. I'm just going to take my time. Okay. And then did you, did you mind me to ask you about how you, how is your experience? I mean, what did you think about Dominican women? How was your experience? Well, I have learned that the, the city Dominican women are more Americanized and they, um, 
uh, um, certain ones, they, they're materialistic. And so you have materialistic Dominican women, you have materialistic American women, but um, you see more materialistic American women in America, uh, but it's a lot of women in the Dominican Republic that are so poor, they're really not materialistic. They just, uh, they're looking for somebody for a good serious relationship. So um, I, I, I noticed that, but I, you know, I don't see any, anything very bad about a Dominican woman as, you know, um, because most of them are beautiful and, and sexy, but at the same time, it's, it just depends on the woman. Just like you were saying, it depends on the guy. It depends on the woman as well, you know? So I just met this girl from um, in the country from San Cristobal, and um, she's very sweet, uh, and she's just so nice. Her, her name is Madeline. And uh, so hopefully, you know, our relationship will work out and it'll get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. But, um, you know, it just depends on the girl. It just depends on the person. But I don't see any bad things with a Dominican woman. I, I would I rather a Dominican woman than an American woman. But at the same time, there are a, there are amazing uh, American women here in America as well. But I just like the their custom and and how they have they have the old school way of um mm -hmm. of the the man and the woman in the house and things like that and i respect all women i want women to have everything a man has and, and i want them to to have the same uh type of uh, uh privileges that we have because i think it should be equal but um as far as a house and a home I believe you should have a, a king and a queen, clean, good, professional channel, and uh, keep up the good work. I thank you so much. I will try. And I always try. No, I'm gonna keep the good work. Oh, and good luck. You and good so luck on your. Uh, good luck on your uh, your restaurant. Have Have you opened that up yet? I uh, know yet, but it will be very soon. It will be open very soon, and also we will be posting more uh, business to come to in the channel. So keep. Uh, keep watching. Yeah. Keep watching. I will. Well, you you take care and thank you for having me on your channel and, and God bless you and your family. And I wish you the best. I thank you so much. I wish you the best too. And uh, your new journey going to the Dominican Republic. And, and if you have any questions or, or need, you think that I can answer you for, your, for any assistance that I can give you, just send me an email that I will try to help you. It was a wonderful interview. And that is all what I have today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check his channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye.